Dear students, welcome to Study Buzz, the online study channel. Today we are going to study environmental studies for class 2. Let's have the overview. Chapter number is 8. Chapter name is Directions. Concept Directions North, South, East and West. Let's read this picture story. Ayan and his father have shifted to a new house. Ayan, this is your room. This window opens to the east. The first rays of the sun will gently wake you up in the morning. You won't need me or the alarm. Ha <laughs> ha! But how do you know this is east, dad? Well, the sun is overhead at 12. Then we feel it is tilting towards the west. Look at the position of the sun now and look at the time. It's 9 o'clock. So the sun is still in the east. So if this is east, the opposite is west where my room is. Got it? Yes, dad. Do you know that long, long time ago, People would use an instrument called a sundial to measure the time. How did a sundial work, Dad? Well, the sundial had a pointer and a plate marked with the hour of the day. The shadow of the pointer cast by the sun on the plate showed the time. You can see a sundial in the picture. Let's have the question for the picture story. At what time is the sun over our head? So at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the sun is over our head. What we are going to learn in this chapter? We shall learn about directions. Words used to give directions and four main directions. And the words which we use are left, right, front and behind. And the main directions are north, south, east and west. About directions. When we go from one place to another, we need to know which way to go. Words such as left, right, front and behind help us to know how to get to a place. The path that we take when moving from one place to another is called a direction. Directions also point towards a place where a thing lies. Now let's understand the direction with the help of the pictures. The dog is to the left of the kennel. You can see in the first image. In second image, the dog is to the right of the kennel. In the third image, the dog is in front of the kennel. And in fourth image, the dog is behind the kennel. So I hope you have understood the direction left, right, front and behind. Now, why do we learn about directions? Directions are very important for drivers of vehicles and for people to get to new place. We go to school, we go to shopping, we go to the park. We must learn the direction to all these places so that we do not get lost. Names of directions We use different words for the four directions to find a place. They are east, west, north and south. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. When we face the rising sun and spread our arms out, our left hand points to the north, the right hand points to the south, the direction behind us is the west, the east is directly opposite to the west and the north is opposite to the south. You can see direction in the picture given. Now let's understand the direction with the help of this question. You know how to find the four directions with the help of the rising sun we have discussed in earlier slide. Study the picture below carefully and write the correct directions in the blanks with the help of the rising sun. 
question number one that is a fill in the blanks which you can fill by looking at the picture the car is coming from the east how we understood that because the sun is rising behind the car so it means it is east question number two the car is moving towards the west because the opposite of east is west question number three the waterfall is towards the you can see arrow in the signboard of waterfall it is given in the left direction if you stand facing the sun so it means that is a north direction and question number four the hotel is towards the that is opposite to the north direction that means it is south the hotel is towards the south direction now zoom in did you know in olden days sailors used to find their way at sea using the north star which guided them later they started to use an instrument called a compass to find directions now let's have the textbook exercise question number 1 directions are important for drivers of vehicles question number 2 the north lies directly opposite to the south question number 3 the sun sets in the west question number 4 in olden days sailors would find direction at sea with the help of the north star question number 5 if you face the rising sun the right hand points to the west now let's have the question number 2 2 think it over imagine that you are lost in a marketplace here are some groups of people whom will you take help from to find the right direction put a tick in the given boxes what will you look for before asking for help give reasons so here you can see six group in the first group three boys are talking to each other so as they are boys they might not be aware of the directions so we will probably not ask direction from them in the second image there are three women and they are coming from market because they have bags in their hand so it means they are very well aware of the directions so we can ask direction from the group of women in the third image there is a group of men and they are also buying because they have bags in their hand so they are also aware with the location and they can guide you so we will ask direction from the group of men also in the fourth image there is a family and they are also buying something from the market and they are also very well aware from the location and they are the right person to direct us the fifth image is of a man and he has not taken any bag so it means that he might be new to that place and he is also looking for some directions and help so we will not ask direction from him because he seems new to that place and the last image is of a policeman he is the person who knows each location of that area so we will definitely ask location from a policeman now let's take true and false the words left right front and behind help us to get to a place this is true the east lies opposite to the north this is false the south lies directly opposite to the north this is true when you are facing the sun the direction behind you is the west so this is also true so here we have completed our chapter and textbook exercise hope you have understood the chapter and if you have any problem please watch the video again
Thanks for studying with Study Buzz.